Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today we're going to be working on the Lincoln Electric welding cart. I'm going to be adding a receiver hitch to the bottom of this cart when I have a job coming up like I do that I don't need the trailer. I just need the welder and some parts. I can transport it out there much easier. If you haven't seen the welding cart build, you can check that out here. Lincoln electric welding cart. You can see I put on an extension cord and I went ahead and run a multi-outlet strip. The welder's plugged into that now. I can also plug my grinder into it. This is just for portable use. I've got a different welder that I use in the shop. First thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to tilt it over and we're going to measure the bottom of it. I need it sticking out 11 inches beyond the front of this. I want this to go all the way to the back. I'm going to cut these pieces out and I'm going to run it right along this bottom. The bottom of the cart is 24 and 3 quarters. I'm going to add 11 inches to that so I get 35 and 3 quarters. This is 2 inch quarter wall. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my videos or want to know where you can pick some up for yourself, go down to the description and I'll have a link mostly to Amazon for where you can pick this stuff up. And if you do want any of this, please click through my links. It just helps. Now I'm going to have to remove this new extension cord that's never even been used so that I don't burn it when I'm welding. Right around the halfway mark of the video, I am going to hook this thing up to the Subaru. I'm going to follow my wife driving the Subaru around and kind of see what this thing looks like. If you're behind it, see if it looks sketchy or looks solid. And then I'm going to actually take it out on a job. That way you'll get to see what it really takes to get all of the equipment out. You know, the biggest part of doing a small welding job is traveling to the site, you know, getting everything loaded up into your vehicle or onto your vehicle and showing up and, and putting everything where it goes and actually doing the work is kind of the easy part. You knock that out and then you got to pack it all up. So the idea with the welding cart is to make all of that process much faster and much easier. And hey, if you want to support the channel, how about hitting that like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and a share really helps a lot as well. Thanks in advance.
Yeah, so you probably remember from the Lincoln Electric Welding Cart build, the best part of the video was right at the end where I test this thing out. I take off around the corner, hit a little bump, and it dumps my toolbox out, emptying all the screwdrivers, every tool in the box. Lots of fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting some little side rails on it, and I'm going to put that on each side so that hopefully solves that problem. Uh, I'll also throw a little paint on everything so we don't have any rust and everything looks good. Oh, and if you know what this keychain symbol is, put it down in the comments. I'll give you a hint. It's two words. So this is pretty common for me to bring all of this stuff to a small job and I used to carry the welder. The welder weighs about 50 pounds by itself so I would tote the welder carrying the cords back and then I would come back and get the toolbox which is probably another 30 or 40 pounds and then you come back and get extension cords, welding helmets, so it would take three or four trips to get everything out, and then it would take three or four trips to get everything back. Now I can comfortably make a trip and get about three quarters of the stuff right to where I need it, and then come back and get some of the smaller stuff like cans of paint or welding helmet and a face guard for grinding, that kind of thing. So this makes things much, much easier. And of course it also makes it that much easier when you're packing everything up and taking it back. One thing I have gotten really good on that I will mention, it seems like I've got so much stuff with me. And I do have stuff that I don't typically need, that I don't hardly ever use, but so many times I run into, oh, I really need a crescent wrench to put on this piece of metal and bend it over or something along those lines. I have all of that stuff with me. so. Very rarely do I get to a job site anymore and not have everything that I need. 